Hey, it's Rachel. So I have another review for this week's video and the review is a meat and seafood subscription box. So funny enough, uh, my fiance and I have been trying to find ways to make grocery shopping more convenient. Looking at food delivery services or meal prep companies, but things that might be a little bit more expensive, but will just save so much time so that we can spend time doing other things. As I'm looking for all of these time-saving subscription boxes, I get an email from a company called Good Shop. Now before I got the email, I had never heard of this company before. I was looking at all of the other like super popular meat subscription boxes, but Good Shop never came up. And so I was intrigued. I did a quick Google search and I found their website. It is a meat and seafood subscription service, just like all of the other boxes. But what they do is they have two different sizes and every single month they send you literally a box of meat. Good Chop is a little bit different from maybe some other subscription services that you've looked at. So the first thing that makes Good Chop different is you can actually pick the meat that is in your box. So you get, I think it's like 25 different meat and seafood choices. So this would be beef, pork, chicken, cod, salmon, and like a ton of choices. So that was really cool. It's not one of those where they just kind of send you whatever they have. You get to actually pick what you want in the box. The second thing that I really liked about it is there is no commitment, no contract. You can do one box and then cancel and never use it again. And I think that's really important because a lot of these subscription services will say like you have to sign up for three months or six months or a year or something like that and that can get really expensive. So if you wanted to try it out, you could just order one box, cancel it, be done with it. The third thing that made Good Shop different is they have a 100% money back guarantee which means if you order a box and for any reason you don't like it, like it just wasn't what you wanted, contact customer service and they say in their frequently asked questions that they will either give you a credit for the next box or give you a full refund. So that's pretty cool. Something else that Good Shop is like proud of and has all over their website is the fact that all of their meat is sourced from American farmers and fisheries. And that might be really important to you. I know that's really important to me. I like knowing that I'm supporting local farmers and I like knowing where my meat comes from. The other thing that's important about all of the meat that Good Chop sources is none of the meat has added hormones, additives, antibiotics, or coloring. Now, I thought that was interesting because I thought that it had been illegal to use hormones in animals. Turns out I was wrong. A lot of the beef cattle that we eat today, they are given growth hormones. That is because the cattle farmers want these cows to get as big as possible so they can sell as much meat as possible. So some beef cattle are given it's like synthetic testosterone to get bigger. If this is something that really bothers you, if you wanna eat beef, but you want to make sure that the beef that you're eating doesn't have steroids in it, Good Chop might be a really good option for you. The other thing I thought was interesting was coloring, no coloring. That specifically is for fish. So in case you didn't know, farm-raised salmon is actually like a naturally gray color, and that's just because of what they eat. So wild-caught salmon eats a certain type of food that turns their skin, uh, their insides pink, their meat pink. Farm-raised fish doesn't get to eat that, so they come out gray. So what actually happens is when they bring the fish to the market, they put dye in it to make it look pink so that you'd buy it. So Good Shop doesn't allow that. Okay, so now that we know where all of the meat is coming from, what do you get in the box? Now, I got what is their smaller box, which is six 
pieces of meat. I got one and a half pounds of USDA choice beef top sirloin steak, two 10 ounce USDA choice beef ribeye steaks, one pound USDA prime beef ribeye steak, two six ounces of 100% grass fed USDA choice beef filet mignon, two pounds boneless pork chop, and one 16 ounce package of uncured bacon. It was a lot. There was a lot of meat in this box. So let's talk about cost right now. As you can see, the box that I got with the six pieces of meat is advertised as $149. However, I did have one USDA Prime and one 100% grass-fed beef. And in the fine print, it does say if you decide to do some of like the more premium cuts, there is a $199 to $399 extra charge for those meats. So let's just go ahead and say the box that I received was probably like $153 to $154. And I realized I should probably put this disclaimer in. So I did receive this box for free. However, I'm not being paid to make this video and I turned down an affiliate with them. The reason I'm doing that is because I wanted to make sure that everybody knew this review was 100% honest. I'm not being paid. I'm not trying to convince you to buy this box because I'm not an affiliate. The only thing was I got this meat to try for free and review it for you guys. Now, 149 to let's say 155, that is pretty pricey. It's not a cheap box. What's cool about Good Chop is when it arrives in the box, all of the meat's frozen. So it comes in a big box with dry ice, it's delivered to your front door, and I took the meat and put it immediately in my freezer. But because it's in my freezer, I don't have to eat it right away. I can just leave it in there and pull it out, defrost it. You don't have to worry about the meat going bad or having to use the meat right away. You really could take that meat and stretch it out for the whole month. But let's take a look at prices. So I went to HEB, which is a local grocery store, and I started looking at the prices that HEB charges for pretty much like the same meat. So I was trying to find locally sourced, if it was grass fed, the same USDA ranking. I tried to match it up as closely as possible. For the USDA choice beef top sirloin steak at HEB, it is $9.26 a pound. For the USDA choice beef ribeye steak, it's normally $13.38 a pound. For the USDA Prime Beef Ribeye Steak, that is $21.84 a pound. For the 100% grass-fed USDA Choice Beef Filet Mignon, that is $32.95 a pound. And for the two pounds of boneless pork chops, that is normally $6.38 a per pound. And then for uncured bacon, like the no sugar, like really good bacon, I was seeing an average of 75 cents per ounce. So those were all of the prices that I saw at HEB. So then I took a look at the actual pounds that I got of meat and I did some math. So when you count everything up for how much I would pay if I went to HEB and got kind of the same meat, that comes to $102 worth of meat, which means I'm paying theoretically $150 for the box when I could get the same, close to the same meat at HEB for only 102. However, when you think about it that way, you think there's no way this doesn't make any sense. Why would I use this service? And the thing is that in my opinion, Good Chop is not to save money. When you take a look at most of the reviews online, notice how all of the reviews online always divide the meat by serving, not by pound. So when you divide it by serving, they show it as it's $3 or serving or it's $4 or serving. The thing is, I feel like that's not a really honest review. When you go to the store, you look at prices by the pound. When you look at the box and say, okay, I'm paying, let's say $150 for this box for $102 per meat, 
That means that price difference is the price that it takes the company to ship the meat to you. So Good Chop isn't for if you're trying to save money, it's for if you're trying to save time. The box that they send you is a really nice box. It has dry ice, it's huge. It probably does cost Good Chop a lot of money to ship you. When you think about it that way, you're paying for the convenience and the price actually isn't that bad. The other cool thing is you can typically find discount codes. Now, I don't have one because I'm not an affiliate, but if you look online, you can find them everywhere, which takes the price down of the box to about like $99 is what I've been seeing with the discount codes, in which case then that makes a lot of sense. Now, just one last little negative. Currently, Good Chop does not accept food stamps or EBT cards. And I know that a lot of people who watch my videos do use those. And so if that's the case, unfortunately, you can't use those on Good Chop like you would if you went to the store. In a nutshell, the pluses are Good Chop is a really great choice. If you are looking for American farm raised meat, seafood, meat that is high quality, that doesn't have antibiotics or steroids or colorings, if all of those things are really important to you and you want the convenience of just a box arriving at your door, you don't have to go to the store to get this, it just shows up, then Good Shop is a really great choice for you, especially if you can find the discount code. If you are trying to budget, if you don't maybe care as much about all of the different special labels for meat and you're just trying to do the best you can or if you are using food stamps or anything like that then i would probably skip on good job let me know if you like reviews like this let me know in the comments if you have tried other meat subscription boxes. I'm really curious to know what your experience was with maybe some of the other brands to see how they compare with my experience. And I will see you next week in my next video. Bye guys.